Pastor Luke speaking the truth of the word and reaching the youth. Saving souls of the old, doing God's work with no to do. And he turning up every week and get lit. And then in the church on Sunday, you can tune in and get your fix. Turn up, turn up. The test of faith. Faith is not the belief that God will do what feels right to you. But it is the belief that God will do what is right for you. And the ultimate test of faith is not how loudly you shout when things are going well. But the ultimate test of faith is how deeply you trust him when things are going bad. And I, I've come this morning to tell you that you may be in a season in your life where you are experiencing a test of faith. The Bible is very clear that without faith, it is impossible to please God. So then it is plausible to deduce that you can show up, that you can serve, that you can sing, that you can sow, uh, and that you can shout. And if it's not done in faith, God is not pleased. Have you ever been fighting something, assiduously fighting it, and you, 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 you're fighting it and fighting it, and just when you get to the point that you're about to throw in the towel and give up and say, I can't take it no more, God will step right in. The old saints used to say he may not come when you want him. I wish I had somebody in here. That's his way of letting you know that it's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And so what I need you to understand is that faith family is the gateway, catch this, to everything promised to you. Everything that is promised to you, you will receive it through the gateway of faith. And I have discovered that some people who are exceptionally intelligent are also exceptionally frustrated because they think that they should be blessed on the level of their intelligence. And so when someone steps in and don't have the same amount of academic hours, and God blesses them with the job and them with the promotion. It irritates that person because they don't understand how it is that you got what you got. But what they have to understand is you didn't get it just because you were intelligent. You got it because you had faith that God was able to bring it to pass. And so when God begins to bless you in front of people, come here, let, let, let me talk to you this morning. When God begins to bless you in front of people, you got to be careful because anytime somebody's significance is reduced, by your success they become secret sabotage yeah they, they may they may shake your hand and they may take you out to coffee but don't you be fooled they, they may smile in your face all the time trying to take your place there backstab the reason that some people can't operate in faith watch this the reason some people cannot operate in faith is because they keep trying to make sense out of it. And so they can't operate in anything that they, can, they cannot fathom in their mind how it happened. And that's why your blessing irritates them. Because the way you've been blessed with everything you've gone through don't make sense to them. And you got to learn to tell people, I, I, I don't know why it is. I know it don't make sense that God chose me out of everybody in the building. I don't, I don't know that God promoted me. I, 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 don't, I don't know why, why God established me. I know it don't make sense why God called me to lead the team. I don't know why it is. I'm still trying to figure it out. But one thing I do know is that you will never understand it because God didn't do it because I was so good. He did it because he was so great. My faith made room for me. I know you don't have any children right now. Abraham but I want you to know that as the stars are in the sky and the sand is on the seashore so shall your descendants be in other words I'm going to take you from nothing 
to more than you can count. And I wish I had somebody in here that had enough faith to believe that God can take you from nothing to more than you can fathom in your mind. Do I have any witnesses in here that know that God can take you from this place to that place in the twinkling of an eye?